OC on countdown. Copy, go ahead. OC, at this time, do we have concurrence that we've properly enforced the public risk clearance criteria set in our procedures and that our FAA license is intact? Affirmative to both. I have checked in with... Good RFA. afternoon. You're looking at SpaceX's Starship Suborbital Test Vehicle Number 15 out down to flight in just under five minutes. It was almost five weeks ago we launched Starship 11 on a test flight from the adjacent Pad B. Today's flight is from Pad A. Now our demonstration objective again is with the last four flights. Slowly climb to 10 kilometer altitude, which will take about four minutes, turning off engines on the way up as we burn off propellant mass. Once we reach 10 kilometers altitude, we will begin the horizontal descent back to the landing zone adjacent to the launch pad. If all goes well, we'll light three engines to flip the stage back to vertical and eventually land on a single engine. This flight includes multiple upgrades and improvements to address the findings from the rapid unplanned disassembly we experienced on the last flight. This vehicle also incorporates changes to get us closer to the orbital configuration plan for flight late. Okay, here it goes. I've been so busy today. I haven't been able to sit and watch this, but uh, Starship 15. They still call it SN15. I don't know why. Hopefully my camera's okay. <laughs> this is all I got. This is exciting. Today, there's a cloud deck above Boca Chica, so likely they won't we won't see much above the clouds once it goes through the clouds but we've seen that before right the belly flop maneuver all that stuff we've seen it before it's good we know it works but this one um has new tech on it uh, this is a new this is like starship or sn8 through 11 were one test phase so sn15 is starting with a new vehicle it's got lots of different upgrades and things um, way more optimistic about this one sticking your landing so uh, we're just watching let's just keep it rolling as usual I have um, as usual I have NASA space flight on one screen and <laughs> everyday astronaut on another E minus two minutes we continue to count down for Starship 15 flight Talent load is complete in the liquid oxygen system on the Starship. Methane fuel load is also complete on the Starship. Take a deep breath. D-minus e one minute. All systems remain go for the flight of Starship 15. We're getting ready to disconnect the quick disconnect from the vehicle in preparation for flight. Oh yeah, SpaceX is at 48 seven, 45 seconds. 12 seconds, 11. Okay, SpaceX hitting zero. This SpaceX is going to be the best. Okay, yeah, it's, it's going into the clouds at 19 seconds, 20 seconds, inside the clouds. So now we won't see anything. All we can see is the camera inside the skirting for the engines. B plus 30 seconds, Starship 15 is airborne as we get a view of the three Raptor engines as we're powering our way to 10 kilometers altitude in today's test flight. <laughs> oh, yeah, the outside fuselage shot is really good. That weird, like, orange... Orange dust that you can see through the cloud. It's way above the clouds. Just past one minute into flight, we're through two kilometers altitude. All three Raptor engines continuing to burn. Next major event, about one minute, is we will turn off the first of the three Raptor oh, engines. I better go check the Brussels sprouts. I got, I got vegetables steaming. Coming up at T plus two minutes, uh, we appear to have uh, frozen the view from the engine cameras. However, the Raptor engine's continuing to perform, and we've got shutdown on engine three on time. Okay. 
it needs at least five more minutes on the Brussels boys. Yes, we remember. Should be able to see this flip, and we won't see the belly flop or the fl the flip or the belly flop, but we're gonna see the landing for sure. It's gonna come through the clouds, flipping. And they are eight kilometers in altitude, and confirming that everything continues to go well aboard the vehicle. I think that's. T plus two minutes forty seconds. While we're trying to regain video from the vehicle. We continue to ascend. We have just passed the eight kilometer point in flight. Everything continues to look good on Starship 15. <laughs> well, we know it hasn't well, exploded yet. Coming up on three and a half minutes into flight, we're approaching the 10 kilometer altitude. We'll begin to hover here. We've had engine number two shut down on time. We'll now be moving into the hover with one engine. And then in a little bit, we will begin the flip over to horizontal position and begin our descent or hopefully a ground camera will be able to bring us live views of the flight. You can see the, go you can see the feet, you know, the landing legs in there. There's four, uh, eight can. of them, I think there is. Just past T plus four minutes into flight. We've got the views back from the Raptor engines. We get T plus four minutes, 34 seconds. While we're working to regain video, it looks like we've got a shot looking. That is a cool shot at 440. <laughs> You can see the camera moving on the flat. <laughs> A reminder, phase that's coming up as we get ready for landing, we will light three Raptor engines, flip the vehicle from horizontal to vertical. If things look good, we will shut down one Raptor engine and then possibly a second one and land on a single engine in the landing zone. Five minutes into flight, Raptor continuing to descend. We're coming up on three kilometers altitude. Here it comes. Do it. Just oh my gosh, that's looking really it? good. That's looking really good. And we have ignition. Right Starship down. heading back to the landing zone. It looks a lot straighter than SN10. Two engines. Okay, we've got a, a stuck landing. But once again, Looks good. Got a small fire on the bottom. Now, like SN10, is it like going to catch on fire and explode nope. on the ground? It looks really good. There is a little fire and Starbase Flight Control has confirmed, as you can see on the live video, we are down. The Starship has landed. We're going through the safing sequence in the flight computer right now. We'll be back in a moment. It's almost right not on the pad. It looks like it's right on the edge. Put the fire but, out. Uh, put the fire. We had a successful launch, a successful landing, the soft landing of the Starship. Chris, landing pad they're spraying Chico, it like crazy like they always do. <laughs> There's a pretty good fire down there. <laughs> that is definitely methane leaking. The only flammable substance on there is the methane and it is leaking right now. Oh no. See if they can get that under control. See, we we know that you d you don't cut away too yeah. soon because they seem to go system all remote controlled. Oh. It and Sparker's like talking. The really methane fuel that we're carrying as we continue to work on the test vehicle design, you may be able to see uh, water going on the pad from the water cannons. But again, Starship 15 powered by three Raptor engines. We have successfully launched it from our facility in South Texas. Landed after a routine flight where we shut engines down on the way to 10 kilometers. Keep it running. Tim, every day astronaut, he's saying, yeah, keep the cameras running. We've learned not to turn cameras off too soon. It's a pretty bad fire. Yeah, the entire flight lasted six minutes and eight seconds here. Was successful, but yeah, it, it, you can see the water can sort of dousing this wait. Um, right now and doing the best that they can uh, to keep this uh, yeah, under control. Um, yeah. They did bill <sighs> oh, I can't believe they flew it today. I'm so glad they did. And now the SpaceX Texas team has flown a test flight of Starship with a landing back in the landing zone here in Starbase, Texas. 
Also like to remember, this is the 60th anniversary of the first American in space, astronaut Alan Shepard and his Mercury capsule, and SpaceX has landed Starship successfully on this date. Again, an outstanding period as we work to enable the future of human spaceflight and expansion into the solar system. And with that, we're going to conclude today's webcast with the views here of Starship 15. Thank you for joining us here at SpaceX, and have a good day. Looks like SpaceX is going to cut off their feed. The water's gone down now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there it goes. But we're waiting on the other guys. Venting of some kind, it's not steam. Yeah. Yeah, at first it looked like it may have been hit the side of the starship, but it's continued now that the water... Are they out of water? Fire is still going. There's still a fire. That fire is still going on the other side. Okay, I'm going to turn this one off. We still got Tim Dive and NASA Space Flight. This camera here. I think they're just trying to depress, depress the tank and get the fire out. Oh man, this blazing that fire. I don't know, man. Just wait. This thing could explode at any second. I know I'm switching around some. I'm keeping an eye on this, but uh, that's what it's there. The water doesn't seem no to be reaching no kaboom. where the fire is. Look at that and fire, that's that pretty bad. Suppression <laughs> system active. It's scary. Yeah. The, the landing was good. Look at the legs. I'll see if I can get good shots of this, but the legs look like they're all they held up. On SN10, when yeah. the legs came down, it looked like some of them were flopping. They didn't lock into place. So. This looked like that a lot. And landed okay. Yep. This guy got that fire out, man. Gotta make it more reliable. Oh, shut yeah. off. There's people in they're in danger. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch the replays on that as it comes out of the clouds. God, there's this one angle on NASA space flight. It flames look terrible. The side there. Some of that yeah, Tim Dodd's already going back to replays. Out of there. Well, if you have lower the pressure in the tanks, you don't have a big pressurized vessel that could blow, right? You could still ignite the methane, but it could reduce significantly your debris impact your area. But yeah, you can see the water cannons going. Yeah, the water like, cannons are really more working. Strongly now, um, over toward that, over toward where we were seeing the fire on a, on a slightly different view here. Um, but for those of you who are just joining us, because I am seeing our viewership climb. Hi. Right, right so Chris. Here, um, yeah. Look, look oh, it, I, I don't see the flames anymore. Oh, that's good. Just wait, they might have got that's the flames out. The fire, it's, <gasps> yeah, they're knocking them down. The they're getting those flames down. The flames from Starship. Yeah, that's good. If the, if the fire is out, that's very good because what I wanted to say is for those of you yeah, who are just going to get that fire out, safety this vehicle. This will be the first one that they didn't Starship have to SN15. clean up. Uh, SN15 8 crash, 9 crash, 10 5, landed, uh, exploded, uh, 11 uh, they terminated uh, the flight before it even got close to the ground. Uh, all the pieces fall. <laughs> that was hilarious. Down. And this is SM15, so they skipped 12 and 13 and 14. Those were just serial number placeholders. They never built those vehicles. They wanted to go right to 15 where the major upgrades were. Fire suppression system is off now at the pad. And if that is true, okay. I think it's detanking. I better go check the vegetables. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, can we scream in excitement now?